Hi, good evening. We all talk of water conservation, but do you know that the biggest opportunity for conserving water at home lies right here in your toilet? Statistics show that almost 27% of water usage at home is flushed down the drain. That's right, down the drain. Another 30% more than leakages. But today, I'm going to show you how me and my family save almost 29,000 liters of water every year purely by adhering to international standards. The average Indian flush tank, like the one right here in my house, consumes about 10 liters of water per flush. International standards call for usage of only 6 liters per flush, which means we are spending almost 4 liters of water extra per flush than the international standards on green buildings. So today, we are going to show you how we can very easily and simply reduce the water consumption in your home by changing the settings on this flush tank to only 6 liters per flush and save how much? 20 liters of water per person per day, which means you alone can save more than 7,000 liters of water every day just by a simple setting which won't take you more than 2 minutes to do. Let me show you how. The setting out here on the first tank, this is the marking which shows the 10 liter mark. Now this setting right now is approximately 7 centimeters below the top level. So on the outside, I'm going to measure a 7 cm below and put a mark in here. Now, the total capacity of the tank is 10 liters, and this reading shows me about 20 cm, which means it is 2 cm per liter. Now to reduce 4 liters of water from this, I need to move the water level down by at least 6 to 7 cm, because the tank is obviously a little broader at the top, narrow at the bottom, so I want to don't reduce beyond it. So I'm going to reduce my water level from here by at least 6 cm to get my toilet to international flushing standards. How do I do it? Simple. Step 1, I will shut off the wall. Step 2, I will flush out all the water from my toilet. There, it's gone now. Step 3, I take a simple measure and mark my target level at 6 cm. Now this is the level which I am targeting for filling my flush tank for every usage. Step 3, very very simple. All I do is I adjust this little screw here in such a way that it will close off the wall when the tank is 6 liters full. Right? It's as simple as that. Okay, yeah, I've been sitting and I start filling the tank again. There. Remember, my target level is at 6 centimeters below my current level, which will get me to 6 liters or a little over 6 liters of water per flush. So let's see how good I have set it. This is, this is a trial and error effect. I will have to fill the water and then try and once I get in the good right, I fix it, I feed it and I repeat it on all my towers. There, the water level is rising and now what I need is I want the water to stop flowing in at exactly that level but it continues to flow. So what am I going to do? As soon as the water reaches the black mark I've made expenses, I will shut off the wall. Then, I am going to again start adjusting the screw. Still, the screw feels tight to my hand, which means it has reached the right point where it is closing off the wall to allow any further entry of water. Let me show it. Let's see if it's worked. There. No more water coming in and my water level is now set to 6 liters per flush, which means I am saving 4 liters of water for every flush. Simple.